Well, Andre, thanks so much for talking with us. One of the things that we're so excited about is the fact that United are heading back to the U.S. for preseason. I know it's still some time away, but um, you got to be a part of that preseason last year when you just joined Manchester United. How much does it mean to be able to go back stateside and, and connect to the fans there who really don't get to see you as much because you're based over here? Well, for me, something something special. First of all, because I joined the team. I joined the team uh, in United in America, sorry, and uh, yeah, they are making my debut with Manchester United, so it's a special sp 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 place for me, and it's a nice country to be honest. And uh, <laughs> the fans, they were brilliant. They were, um, it was nice to play there. They were supporting a lot, and I'm excited to to go back. And I know my teammates also will. We'll be, they will be very happy to, to go back there and, and play against this tough opponent. It's, uh, it's, always, um, it's always good to, um, to face them, especially when you are a Manchester United player. That's the matter against who you play, you, you must win now and play those, uh, those rivals. It will be, it will be nice uh, and an exciting game to, to play. I was going to say, because only it's, I know it's only pre-season, so it's almost like a warm-up for the season, but you play in Liverpool. We know that's a rivalry. It could be on Mars, and it will still be a hot rivalry. Um, you do also play Arsenal, so can we expect like really competitive matches? 100%, because we don't have a friendly game, especially against Liverpool. No? And uh, So you, you guys know already what to expect. We are going there to, to win. We, we played them twice this season, and... We draw two time and we we won one, so we're gonna we're gonna win them again. So there, no. So <laughs> I, I hope it's gonna be nice for the fans, but it's gonna be a tough game because they are very good opponent. And in this stage of the in this stage where we are, it's no friendly game. Every game is important for us, and we we must win. Well, one of the things too about the preseason tour that we love, you get to go up against Real Betis. Um, a La Liga team, we cover La Liga very closely on ESPN. What kind of a challenge as well do you, do you expect from them? I know you spent some time in Spain as well, so you have an appreciation for Spanish football. Well, I expect uh, a tough game. It's a really good team. And they have a lot of position, they have good players, so it's not going to be easy. But like I said, we are Manchester United. We are Manchester United, so that's a matter against who we play, we, we have to go with the winning mentality. So I expect them to come strong, but we are also going to be very, very strong for them. And it's going to be a nice game to, to watch. And I hope uh, Manchester United is going to win. Oh, perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to hear. But before we get to preseason, there's still plenty of business to take care of for the rest of the season. FA Cup semi-finals coming up. United had a great run uh, last season, just fell short now. With the way things are going, you know, with the league and everything else, um, is this the top priority now? Well, being a United player, every game is important. And uh, of course, FA Cup is, uh, at the moment, the, it's an important competition. But uh, I would say for us, it's... The main priority is the end on the top four and winning the, the FA Cup, no? But uh, we know it's not going to be easy, but we are Manchester United, so when you register, you, you have the, the obligation to fight until the end. We're going to face a very good opponent and um, we know if we are doing the right things, we'll go through. But it's not going to be easy, so we have to prepare well and I know how, when I see what uh, how we train, how we, we are together, we, we're going to be ready for them. Well, the other semi-final, of course, is an all-Premier League showdown. This is Premier League versus a championship team. But we know that um, when you do play lower division teams, they, they come with everything. This is the biggest night for them. I, it's been a while since United have played Coventry. I think you were 11 years old the last time they played them. So sometimes unfamiliar rivals make it difficult. So how do you approach this semi-final with Coventry? Like a, fine, like a, like a big final, no? like a final of Champions League, because at the end of the day, it can be a tricky game. Because uh, if you don't give them respect, you can you can be they can be disrespectful. No? So we're gonna face them like a Premier League team. You know, if they are there, that means they have a lot of quality. So we're gonna be ready for them, and for us, it's very important to win. And we are going there with the winning mentality. It's no way to lose this game against them. So we are going there very positive and with all of respect. But we must win. We must win. I'd love to hear that too, because it's almost like a, a final before a final if you do get there. And I think it would be perfect to get to the final again on what we know has been a season with a lot of ups and a lot of downs as well, especially for you at the beginning. Um, when you found it challenging, was that just kind of getting used to a new league and life here in England? 
Well, I think uh, yes, because uh, you know when you move country to country, in in one and a half year, I moved to three countries. So, <laughs> so it's not uh, it's not always easy to set up in those kind of in those countries. And when you come in the Premier League, it's a tough league, it's a tough competition. Everything is different for you. You need time to to adapt yourself. Also with the family, it's not uh, it's not easy. You know, they have to get this set. They have to get used to the country. Even driving, you did. <laughs> <laughs> we drive to to the other way, so <laughs> you have to you have to get used to it. You have to get used to it, no? But uh, yeah, now I feel happy here, and uh, there are still much more to come. Where does your positivity, uh, I suppose, come from? Is it just the kind of person you are? Because we know that when you lose for any other team, with all due respect to all the other clubs in the world, it is a loss and they take it seriously. But it feels like when you lose or have a bad day with Manchester United, everybody just picks apart every little thing. So how do you manage all that pressure? Well, first of all, it's a price to pay when you're playing for such a big club, no? And um, that positivity is coming from my background, no? And that, that um, first of all, I don't have to, to forget where I come from, you know? I, Passed through a lot, I achieved a lot of success. And it's not because of um, a loss today. Then will make you forget what you did in the past. No, we are we are all human beings. Sometimes you are you are right, sometimes you are wrong. So you just have to know how to deal with them. This kind of this kind of things. But uh, you never. I always say you never lose in life. You win or you learn. So when you don't win, you learn. So you just have to make sure if things are not going how you want. Patient, keep working, and it will turn. I don't know if it's today. Maybe I hope we can turn everything today. But if it's not today, it will be tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, be patient. It will be after tomorrow. So you have to be patient, but you have to be also determined. And you know, you have to be resilient. You then you never have to give up because if you give up, better to don't step in the to don't step in the pitch because we have been in this game for long already. So we we all know what we did to reach this this level, no? I know what I did to uh, to reach in Manchester United, so I just have to continue working hard, and uh, things will be all right for all of us. How much does Eric help you through that, or I suppose your familiarity with him from Ajax days too? Is he kind of like um, a bit of a football uncle as well? <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and we have a, st a strong connection. Uh, he, not only Eric, you know, the whole club, you know, but I've. It was very nice because because I received a lot of um, positive message when I was uh, when I when I arrived here and when I was facing difficulty here. Message from from the fan for you, Manchester United fan for the from the whole world. You no, know, they was like Andre, take your time. We know who you are and everything will will be all right. But it was it was strange because normally a fan a normal fan is just looking for the result. But I received message from like Andre, don't worry, we are with you. Keep going. They you know, trust your performance. Yeah, they trust. They trust me, and I was like, "Wow, I never had this before." You know, most of the time, where everywhere you go, when you don't deliver, they deliver in the beginning, they are. They tough. tell you. Yeah, they are. They are straight. They are. Deep. It's difficult, but here they were um, very nice with me, and uh, I think um, it's a time maybe now to start to pay back now because they were such. They were very nice with me. Well, it feels like you are definitely paying back. You seem a lot more definite and comfortable um, out there right now. And I know it's not easy because even Eric has spoken about just how United have been plagued with some big injuries that you guys have had to deal with. And as a goalkeeper, to not have that consistent back line, has that just made your job harder? Yes, but not only for a goalkeeper, for, for every player, because we are used to play together already. But uh, when you face injury crisis, you just have you still have to deal with the situation you cannot hide no and we have to stay positive you have to do the right thing working hard and we know it will turn last season they did have uh, so many injuries so uh, hopefully next season we don't have no injuries no we cross we cross fingers but um it's the price to pay when you are in such a big level but i'm very happy in the other end because we have enough players to cover this situation no? because i think uh, the new players we have and the young players who are coming up, they are doing brilliant for us and some of them score important important goal like Komi last game. You can I can take example of uh, of uh, really who did a brilliant game against Liverpool. Also Ahmad who scored 
and a very important goal against Liverpool. So we are there to um, to support each other when things are not going good. Of course, we know the reality. We have a lot of interest players, but it's not an excuse because we are we are Manchester United. We still have to fight for for everything.